Hello guys, so I'm at the 2021 Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's been a fantastic weekend so far. Of course, there was no event last year, so it's great to be back here with all the cars around us. I'm in the supercar parking at the moment, so I'm gonna give you a quick look around there before we head down the hill and see all the amazing race cars, brand new supercars that they have going up the famous hill climb. So it's always a pleasure to look around the supercar parking at Goodwood. Some fantastic cars show up. These are visitors that come in today in their own cars and the best of the best get stuck here at the top of the hill for everyone to enjoy. So we've got Ferrari F40. And further along here, this is one of the first of these that I've seen in the flesh. Lamborghini Huracan STO. This thing is absolutely bonkers. Look at that kind of lime green colour loads of angles and aero on that. They're moving around here, we've got all sorts. We've got McLarens, 488 Pistas. This one's got a lot of yellow on it, including on the tires. 720S with some cool pinstriping. Lotuses everywhere, all sorts of cool bits and pieces all around the car park. We'll try and pick out some of the highlights for you. This is quite cool, Aston Martin Rapide AMR. Quite a rare car, although someone pointed out something on this car to me that has ruined it for me, that the fog lights look like toilet rolls stuck straight into the bumper, which is funny, but it's still, still an amazing car and it sounds absolutely fantastic. Here we have a rough CTR in purple. Absolutely nuts, bronze wheels. And the interior, the attention to detail on the interior is fantastic. That's a really cool thing. Not something that you see every day, even at Goodwood. Something else pretty nice in the car park. Ferrari 250 short wheelbase. Something else I've spotted, Audi R8 V8 of course, pretty similar to mine. I wonder if it is manual. Yes it is, good man. Nice to see one of these here all sorts of other fantastic supercars all the way around. I won't bore you with all of them. We'll head down the hill now and see where the real action is. So I'm currently in the Michelin supercar paddock and it's absolutely heaving. So I'll give you a quick look around, starting with probably the most extreme car in here. It's the brand new Aston Martin Valkyrie. It's been a long time coming, but in the flesh, this thing looks absolutely insane. Look at that. That must be incredible to drive. I'll make sure to put some footage of that on track later on. The sound it makes is just unreal. And next to it, we've got the V12 Speedster, kind of Aston Martin's equivalent of the Monza. Of course, no windscreen. Moving along, a couple of other Aston Martins, the Vantage Roadster and the DB11. Then over here, we have some Ferraris. If I just pass through the crowd, Monza. SF90 Spider. I haven't seen any of these really on the road yet. SF90 and a few of the models down there. Yeah. Just navigating the crowd. We've got the Zenvo stand over here. That's the track over there, the start of the famous hill climb where all the cars go up. A few different Zenvos here. This is the TS1. The kind of softer, less hardcore version of what's sitting behind it. Then here we have the TSRS. Look at all the detail on that blue carbon fiber on the bonnet. What a beast. There is one of those as well in blue going up the hill, so I keep an eye out for that. Here we have the brand new Maserati MC20. This is the first time I've got to see one of these. I think it's a really good looking car give you a sneak peek at the interior. Lots of nice carbon fiber in there. There you go, great to see uh, Maserati moving in this direction again. Stunning little thing. That starts over here. The new McLaren Artura, not a fan. And the Elva as well, in gold of course. Another one of these hypercars without a windscreen. A few more McLarens along here, GT, 
765 LT, if you can see it past the people. And then the 720S GT3X race car. That thing looks nuts. Over this side, we've got the Corvette. If I'm lucky, I might actually be going up the hill in that thing later in the weekend. So I look forward to that. And then this is another beast. Chiron Per Sport, 1500 horsepower. Really cool. Then Huayra BC Roadster. I'm told that this is a test car and it's actually done in excess of 70,000 miles, which is unbelievable. Grand interior, lots of people here. Is that a new? That's the Lotus Envia just rolling out. 2,000 horsepower hypercar, full electric. Then this is the Zenvo TSRS, another one. This one's going up the hill. I was actually lucky enough to drive this car a few weeks ago. Here we've got the Lamborghini stand. Satin orange Huracan Evo, that's pretty cool. SVJ Roadster. Then coming along here, this thing is nuts. This is one of the cars that's stolen the show. This is the Ascenza SC V12. Believe me when I say this, this car sounds like it's from another planet. I guess it's loosely based on the Aventador, but it is a race car or a track car, and it absolutely howls. I'll we'll see if I can give you a little peek of the interior. Completely stripped out, of course. You can just see it through the window. And this thing is so long, it's ridiculous. It barely fits in the paddock. And then we've got the new Huracan STO, which is also a beast. And quite nice in satin blue. So guys, I'm just trying to hustle my way through the crowd as much as I can. This is the Rimac Nevera, another one of these electric hypercars. 1900 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds, just ridiculous. Over here, or sorry, there are a lot of people here. I'll try and show you what I can. Brand new GT3 Touring, first time I've seen one of these, really like it. Got the wheels from the GT3, the center locks and so on, really nice. And then here we have the GT3. This is the Singer DLS. Really cool interior on this. Quite a funky spec, kind of Kermit green with red. And then the spec on this one's really nice as well. Look at that tartan interior, that's really, really cool. This dark green, maybe oak green metallic. This is very exciting. I'm currently in the supercar paddock with a whole line of Ferraris. I'm about to jump in the passenger seat to go up the famous hill climb in this beautiful Ferrari aroma. So hopefully I can get some footage from that to share with you. I'm very excited for this. just finished the run up the hill in the Ferrari Roma and it was absolutely insane wow that's some close parking um, no no that was very good very impressive you see more cars rolling in Ferrari Monza just at the top of the hill everything's parking up here we had the there you go we had the Aston Martin Valkyrie just ahead of us and the sound of this car is absolutely nuts but the grip from the Roma, I didn't know a Roma could go this quickly. I was very, very impressed by this car. I was holding on for dear life, to say the least. 
absolutely insane lineup of cars here at the top of the hill. We've got the Lotus Evaya, the brand new Lotus Emira, 720S GT3 car by the looks of it, the P1 HDK high downforce kit by Lanzante. It's just been unveiled. Maserati MC20, Maserati's brand new uh, model. The Rimac Nevera, one of these silly powered, something like 1900 horsepower electric hypercars. That's a Glicken house in gold just rolling in. Funny looking thing. The brand new 992 GT3. All sorts of other things hidden in there. McLaren Elva. There's a wire of BC Roadster at the back. Zenvo. Chiron Persport. The new Huracan STO just rolling in. Lanzante Tag Turbo over there. Porsche GT3 Touring. First one I've seen in the flesh. And of course the Roma. Tucked away with the Valkyrie and everything else with it. And I think something pretty cool is just about to roll in. different perspective of course. Uh, excited to get on board, show you some footage from that. Should be a fun little trip. So this is exciting. I'm actually just about to jump in see all the cars are going up. I'm just about to jump in the brand new Corvette C8 courtesy of Michelin of course to go up the hill climb so I can't wait to share with you some footage from this So we just got to the top of the hill, We've been in the Corvette C8, all these amazing cars here, but I was absolutely stunned by the way that the C8 handled. I did not believe, dare I say it, that an American car could be so composed, 
I think the difference it's made with it being mid-engine versus obviously previous generations is phenomenal. No, it felt really, really planted on the way up the hills. Pretty much kissing the hay bales as we went past, but completely in control the whole way. So no, really impressed by the new Corvette. That was a great little run. And again, we've got all these amazing hyper cars in the sunshine at the top of the hill. What an occasion.